tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple kind of click to reveal game that you can use as part of an existing presentation or uh, as its own standalone presentation, however you prefer. So if we were to do this as a standalone presentation, I would put a title slide here. Something like that. And of course you could decorate that any way you want to with a theme and things like that, just like you would any other presentation. All right, now we're gonna start building the actual game. So I'm gonna put in a new slide and I could on this slide put in some instructions, for example. So I could say read the clue and try to guess what is hidden behind the boxes. Click on the box to reveal part of the picture and another clue. Keep going until you guess what is behind the boxes and or I guess I can see the whole picture. All right, so you can come up with some instructions like that if you need to. And then we're gonna go to new slide and start building it. All right, so on this first slide, I could have a clue. So for example, I stick myself to the bottoms of leaves while I sleep. Who am I? And I could change the font size on this. I want to be fairly consistent with my font size, so I'll probably stick to like a 28 on all of my clues. And then here's how I actually start to build the game. I'm going to begin by putting in a clip art. I'm going to search for my standard frog. And I'm going to find myself a cool picture of a red-eyed tree frog. Like this one or that one. Let's do this one. Okay. Now what I want to do is hide that frog behind some boxes. So I'm going to go up into insert, choose shapes, and then just choose a rectangle. And you can do as many as you want, just depending on how many clues you want to use. And we try to make it be about a third of our picture. And then I'm going to just go ahead and copy that box, paste it, and put it right below the other one here, and do that one more time so that my frog is completely covered. All right, now I'm going to do, and you can do this a lot of different ways, but I'm just going to show you how to do it this way. I'm going to say click here on this bottom square, and I'm going to turn that into an action button. And I do that by simply selecting the, the rectangle, and on the insert menu, I go to action. So I'm gonna insert an action on that particular rectangle. And I'm gonna hyperlink it to the next slide, which I haven't made yet. Click OK, and then we'll move on. Now what we do is we just take this slide. So I've come over here onto the slide sorter, and I'm gonna take that slide and copy it. Then I'm going to click below that on my slide sorter and paste it. So now I have two of the exact same slide. On this second version of the slide, I'm going to remove the bottom rectangle so that you can see his little feet. And then I'm going to put in another clue. So on this one, I might say something like, I flash my red eyes and orange feet when I feel threatened. Okay, this time I'm gonna make this one the box that gets revealed. Click, insert action, link to next slide. We'll come back in just a minute and finish this up. 